Hello, everybody. Welcome to the September 1970 issue of World Harvest Magazine which is what we're looking at today. Now, normally, I do these earlier in the week, but I ran into some technical difficulties with my scanner this week, and I got all that sorted out, so that's why this is coming out over the weekend. But in this September 1970 issue, on the cover, the main article here says, Five Iron Curtains Around Russia. All right? Then when you open the magazine up on the first two pages, on actually page two and three inside, it has a portion of this sermon that he did, but it says that it's taken from his newest book, which was just released at that time. And the book is called Five Iron Curtains Around Russia. And I actually have two copies of it. This is one that I have here. Now, I made a PDF download of this entire book. It's like 33 pages, so in the description box underneath this video, there will be a PDF download for the September 1970 issue of World Harvest, and also a PDF download for this classic book. Now, this is completely out of print. You can't find this at all anymore because it's very dated, of course, because it had to do with the Soviet Union. You know, you see the little sickle and hammer in the center there. And in the article, it's really a brief article. It's only page two and three. Uh, and that's why I'm offering the book also, which is very, very, very good. But in the article here, he talks about how at that time, the, how repressive the government was there in the Soviet Union. It's one section of the article here. He says, news in Russia is what the government says it is so that the people hear only what they are authorized to hear, which could be and frequently is the worst kind of lies and propaganda. Sound familiar? Events and happenings of the day are sometimes contrived and are always rationed and prescribed. The death of a Stalin, for example, is never flashed to the people as news, but its release is calculated for timing and worded for the right effect and conditioning. Now, I believe this is done in our culture today. Moreover, the omnipresent censor looks over the shoulder of those who in any form disseminate information and mold opinion as a double precaution against leaks. Now, this is very relevant for today. Even though the Soviet Union isn't there anymore, a lot of the things that he describes in the article and mainly in in this fantastic book are very similar to what's going on in our world and also around the world. In North Korea, for instance, it's a very repressive communistic government where the people are kept blinded to the events and things that are going on around the world. Uh, they're only allowed to know what the dictator there allows them to hear. Now, in the book, the five iron curtains that he's speaking of are divided into chapters here. Uh, the material curtain is the first one, the social curtain, the moral curtain, the mental curtain, and the spiritual curtain. <laughs> and in the, in the first section here, under the material curtain, he talks about a trip he took across Siberia. Uh, he says it was a 5,000 mile train ride from China, from the eastern side of the Soviet Union, all the way across to Poland. And I guess it was a 5,000 mile trip. And he talks about the things that he saw. He took this trip back in the 30s with Howard Carter. And it's just really interesting. There's a lot of things there that that I remember him speaking of in some of his sermons briefly. 
but I highly recommend the book. It's very informative, and I think it's very relevant to our world today, to a lot of the things that we see happening, even here in the United States. All right, now in the magazine, he advertises on page four a Bible deliverance training camp, kind of, that he was doing in November. And it was to run from November 16th through the 20th with him and Finnis Jennings Dake, who was going to be going through his textbook called God's Plan for Man. It's a very popular textbook by Dr. Dake, and I don't have the book myself. I'm considering ordering it now. It's still available. But this was to be a five-day seminar. They were having classes at 9 a.m. to noon, 2 p.m. to 5, and 7 p.m. to 9. Every day for five days with him and Dr. Dake. That would have been a wonderful thing to go to right there. On page five, there's an article here by a man that was healed of cancer. And through prayer, through the power of prayer, and uh, his testimony is here on page five. And he's got letters on page six. He's got a report on the youth, 21st Century for Christ, on page seven. On the centerfold, he has an advertisement here for his upcoming tour to Israel. And it's a big pilgrimage that they were going on where they were going to go to Rome and Cairo and to the pyramids and to Jerusalem and all different places over there. And it was a 19-day trip, which was being planned from October the 15th to November the 2nd. So it was coming up fast. This was a September issue. Now, there's an item of interest on page 10 and 11 in this issue, and it's called, I Saw a Slave Market Selling Orphan Girls. He relates a story here, which he tells in his first book, Adventuring with Christ. And he relates it here a little bit about how in Kuming, Yunnan, in southwest China, I guess, in the early years of his ministry, he visited a jail there where they, they had little girls lodged there. They were orphan girls, and they were selling them for 75 cents. Yeah. When he got back to England, I believe that's when he was touring with Howard Carter. He was on a missionary trip with Howard Carter around the world. When he got back to England, he says here that uh, all of those girls that were there were purchased then by Christian friends that were in England. And they were placed in a home for girls to be reared as Christians. But it just struck me as very relevant also to a lot of the things that we hear that's going on now with the, with the child trafficking and things like that. So that's not a new thing. It's been going on for a long, long time. He's got a report on page 12 and 13 on the church in Hong Kong in this issue. And he's got quite a few different things, a lot of little articles and, and ads and things that you can order and things like that. And I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, underneath this video, there will be a download for this entire historic edition of World Harvest Magazine from September of 1970. And also this week, this classic out-of-print book, Five Iron Curtains Around Russia, is very, very relevant. I highly recommend it. That will be there for free download for you also. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time together with my friends. I ask that these resources would bless your people. And we thank you, Lord, for all these blessings. And I ask all of this in Jesus' name, amen. All righty. I'll see you all, no, oh, probably Tuesday. We're getting into the book of Numbers in our Bible study. And we're going to be talking about Numbers chapter 3. And that'll be on Tuesday. I love you all, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Glorious, so wonderful is he. Is Savior, wonderful is he. Wonderful is he. Savior, leading us to realms of glory, singing as we go. Glory. Making known the love that made us free. That made us free forever.